Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and today I'm going to make these sausage bowl balls over cheddar orzo. Uh, this is a re recipe I found on YouTube by Julia Pacheco, and she has a lot of recipes, and some of them are very frugal, and some of them look extremely delicious and easy. So this was one of them that I thought looked really good. And for this, you need a pound of sausage. I'm gonna make the, the meatballs first, or the, the sausage balls, as she calls them, first. And then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let those cook and be done before I make the rest, because I have a little bit of time right now that I can do this, and I don't need the pasta portion until later. So, trying to get this out of here without trying to touch it too much. Come out, come out wherever you are. Come on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yakko schmecko. So I'm going to use a pound of sausage and then I also want eight ounces of cream cheese and I'm just using this Philadelphia cream cheese. Yeah, it is eight ounces. I was like, oh, I hope it's eight ounces. I don't know why I bought it in a tub this time as opposed to the block. Probably spent more money on the tub too. And there's more waste, so I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I had grocery pickup, so maybe I just picked the wrong one. I'm trying to get it all. All right, and then I also want to use a cup of shredded cheddar, and I happen to have a little bit of shredded cheddar in a package that I had just had in the fridge, and then I also have some shredded cheddar that I shredded from a block just the other day, so I'm going to use that. I'm just combining them. And then something that might be a little bit strange, at least it was for me, is you're going to use half of the box of this Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. And whoo wee, those biscuits are good at Red Lobster. It's, oh, that's one of the reasons you go to Red Lobster is for those biscuits. I didn't even know they sold. And be careful because there's a packet and I would have known that had she not said. But um, I didn't know they sold this. So I'm going to use half of the packet and half of the seasoning mix. So how am I gonna do that? I am going to take my scissors and I'm just going to hold and I'm just gonna try to do the best that I can. Hold half of this, maybe even, I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm just gonna hold half of it and just try to put half of it in here. Okay, that feels good. And then you know what I'm gonna do is just put Kind of do the same thing with this. I'm gonna like hold half of it. And if it's not quite perfect, that's okay. But that seems to be about half. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump this half into this half, even though that might not be how the recipe calls for. I'm going to put this in a zippy so it will stay fresh and then I'm gonna put it back in the box so I'll have it for maybe another time. And that's all you do for the meatballs and I am going to turn on my mixer. Now pardon me, I did get a new mixer and I'm not sure how to use it. It needs to get this meat in there. It smells good. That Cheddar Bay biscuit mix smells really good. <laughs> I'm just trying to mix it up pretty well. You can see it's like clogging up my Look at that, oh, what a mess. Ah! <laughs> I don't 
don't have the best luck with mixers, do I? Well, and that was my own fault. I have never seen it clump up like that before. But I think it's about as good as it's going to get. So let's try to turn this thing off. Uh, I'm going to have to get my hands yucky even though I didn't want to. Maybe I can use this knife. I don't know. This seems like it's a lot of cream cheese. Oh, fun. Fun with food. That's why we call it Foodie Friday, right? I don't even really, honestly, I don't know why I picked this recipe. No, I did because it looks really good. I think it'll be good, but I don't even really like making meatballs. I don't know. I just have a thing about yuck. I did get a cookie scoop over here to help me make these meatballs, and I'm hoping that I don't have to like use my hands too much. I don't know. I should buy some kitchen gloves. This is going to make quite a bit of meatball, so I'm glad I listened to her and only did half. Because there was a part of me that was like, ugh, I hate using half of a mix. Maybe I should just use two pounds of sausage. But then I thought, oh, that sounds like an awful lot of sausage, too. So, you know. So now I'm just going to take the stuff out of the way a little bit. Move this back. Put this here. I think you can see a little bit of a little bit. Oh, my oven is preheated. There. Those look decent. There might be something about... I don't know. Maybe there is. Something about, like, making them into balls, like the... the firmness of the meatball. Maybe I should go in there and make them into balls. We shall see. But I'm just going to do this and then put them in an oven at 350 degrees. Actually, oh, it's supposed to be 400 degrees. Twenty to 22 minutes and it says that you will make 18 to 20 meatballs I might need both of my cookie sheets hmm I don't think they'll expand too much, so I think it's safe to get them semi-close together. One, two, three, four, four, and then I can do five. I'm gonna bring this over here. I know you guys might not be able to see it, but it's gonna make it easier for me to grab.
Well, I must have made smaller meatballs than her because this is 20, right? Four times five. So there's 20 meatballs and I'm still got quite a bit left. So let me grab another something, something. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna use this because my other cookie sheet is in the dishwasher. Oh, that one had some powder, some biscuit mix on the bottom. I might just try to there you go. I would say these are like golf ball size. Maybe even a hair bigger. It's the medium pampered chef scoop that I'm using in case any of you guys are <clears throat> that particular or want to know exactly. And that's about all of it. So mine made 28 meatballs. And I will just put this in the oven, like I said, for about 20, 22 minutes. And I will show you what it looks like. So in this pot, I have three cups of water. And I'm going to turn it on high because I want this to boil. And I'm going to add two cups of chicken broth that I made using my Better Than Bouillon uh, just the seasoning I, I like to use. So I'm going to add this to that. And then once this boils, I am going to add a cup and a half of orzo pasta. Which is this. It's like rice shaped pasta. And then I'm just going to cook this for about 10 minutes. That's what the package says. But because I'm putting in a certain amount, there might not, I mean, it might, I don't know how it will work. Usually, you know, you put in your pasta and you let it just kind of do its thing. But I'm going to get this going and I will be back. Okay, it's boiling now or close to, I can hear it. So I'm going to go ahead and add my cup and a half of orzo. What did I do with the rest of it? <laughs> Put it over here. All righty. I'll give it a little stir and then cover it up. And like I said, I'm going to let it cook for about 10 minutes and then I will be back. All right, so I think that this is done. Sorry, you guys are tilted again. It's, all right. For sure, this pasta is way done, probably overdone. I've been letting it sit. Chris is late from work and he said he's not sure when he's gonna be home. So I was watching a YouTube video as a matter of fact. And she says to drain all but about, I think she said a half a cup 
with water. Yes. But I'm thinking if I let this sit here and after I add my other ingredients, I'm thinking it will be good. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper. I'm not gonna drain any, but you guys follow the directions if you so choose. And then I'm going to add a cup of shredded cheese and I did go ahead and shred more blocked cheese because it is really good that way. And she even says to add a little bit of butter, but I think I'm gonna skip that too since I have a little more liquid in here. And then we're going to serve this underneath the meatballs. So I probably won't show you until I take a picture of the finished product, but that cheese melted in there really well. I'm gonna get a spoon and just try this just so you guys can see. That orzo really puffed up a lot. Mm. Okay, that's really good. And I'm just gonna let it sit with the lid on it until Chris gets home and we're ready to serve it. If I have to, I guess I could drain a little bit more off and maybe add a little more cheese, but I have a feeling it's gonna be just fine by the time he gets home. It's a little bit runny now, but if I just let it sit, it'll probably be about perfect. So I will see you then.